from being a simulation is one of the most popular theories by the fandom in trying to understand what's going on in Fromland. And even though I completely despise that it's even a possible explanation for this story, the truth is there's actually a lot of scenes in From that support this idea of it being a simulation and I can't say enough how much I hate when writers use simulations to justify their own lack of creativity in writing a story but there's so much that would be so easily explained by From being a simulation that I can't ignore this theory. Boyd killing Abby for example is one of the strongest points you could ever have. The way Boyd's wife was so sure that the entire thing would be ended by killing the townspeople and her certainty of that being the reality makes it seem like she had some sort of knowledge of the entire thing being fake and even now we don't know how exactly Abby came to this conclusion but the fact that she clearly recognized the town makes it seem like the entire thing is some sort of simulation from the beginning that went horribly wrong and now the players of the game ended up being trapped and maybe their memory gets swiped as soon as they enter into it. Boyd meeting Martin made the Abbey thing so much crazier than it initially was because the old man who Boyd met in the dungeon seemed to have so much more knowledge about Fromland than everyone else we've ever seen in the show, obviously excluding Victor cause who knows how much he's hiding from the townspeople. But Martin asking Boyd what if Abby was right? To me I've always felt this question isn't just meant to shock Boyd, I've also taken it to mean that Martin was suggesting that Abby's solution was the right way to go about it. And remember Abby's solution was to take everybody in the town out, you know, permanently. If From is real and some sort of supernatural place, then that would be a terrifying move to make because Boyd would be doing the bidding of some insanely powerful and very demonic entity. But if it's all a simulation then it takes on a completely new meaning and Martin might have genuinely been trying to help out Boyd and get him to wake up everybody else who's been trapped just like him. The boy pushing Tabitha out the window of the lighthouse definitely supports this idea of death being how you end the simulation for an individual player or user or prisoner depending on what you think the purpose of this possible simulation actually is. The fact that the boy had to push her out the window and seemingly kill her is very similar to what Abby was claiming when she was trying to take everybody out in a boy's flashback. We also got this very interesting scene where Abby appeared again at the end of season 2. This scene was so crazy because it's the first time Abby appeared since the first season and what she was telling Boyd in this scene was completely insane and is one of the biggest statements you could pull from the show as some sort of proof that everything in From was a simulation the entire time. Her saying come back to me could mean Boyd has been trapped in this place whereas she was supposedly freed from the nightmare after Boyd shot in the back. Abby appearing at the RV was one of the craziest scenes in the entire show and I just loved everything about it. The way the monsters stopped in their tracks was absolutely wild and the banging on the RV like something was trying to get in I just absolutely loved it. But it's very easy to argue that the music box somehow allows them to interact with the different levels of the simulation and that it playing at that moment was what even allowed allowed Abby to have been able to communicate with Boyd at that moment. There's also this idea of Fromland escalating in levels or danger based on what the residents of the town have been doing. Basically the idea is the game gets harder and harder as the townspeople progress farther into the simulation and this idea has been very strong in this community for a long time. It gained a lot of traction after Boyd said in season 1 that the monsters used to scream but then they stopped doing that. 
Boyd finding the talismans was probably the reason why that happened. We actually hear them screaming in season 2 so that definitely seems like sloppy writing but okay maybe they'll expand on it in season 3 if it's not a plot hole but the basic idea is the evolution of the monsters happens when the townsfolk reach a specific level of progression in the simulation like Boyd finding the talismans the monsters were upgraded to combat that by being more charismatic and more talkative. We also see that the tactics of the demons changed drastically in the season 3 trailer to the point where they're killing the livestock that the townspeople have. And there's so much that happened in season 2 that could be why Fromland itself is progressing as much as it is. The first one is Boyd killed Smiley, something which was absolutely insane and is something that has never happened before in Fromland as far as we know. The other huge thing is Boyd seemed to have killed the music box entity when he stepped on it in the season 2 finale. I'm a hardcore believer in the theory that there's more entities in Fromland apart from the jellyfish and the boy in white so I definitely consider the music box to be its own thing. I also need to address that Fromland clearly had an issue with the Boyd traversing to the lighthouse with Sarah and it's obvious that it sent the rainstorm to prevent Boyd and Sarah from making it to the lighthouse. And it also wanted to prevent Jim from using the radio and it collapsed the Matthews house to prevent other people from venturing into the underground caves which I assume was because of the drawings on the wall. But the fact that it did not try to stop Tabitha from reaching the lighthouse in season 2 makes me wonder if the reason why all of that happened in season 1 was because Fromland considered what they were doing to be cheating but when Tabitha makes it to the lighthouse it considered the events leading up to it to be the intended order. It's like how Ethan keeps saying that they're on a quest and they need to understand the story if they want to exit Fromland. If From really is some gigantic simulation then the AI or whoever is in charge of it whether it's the boy or the jellyfish or something completely unknown to us it has a specific way it wants things to be done and when people try to stray of course it fights back and retaliates. This definitely brings an interesting point as to what is causing the snow that we see happening in the season 3 trailer. Is it some sort of punishment for something Boyd did incorrectly like killing Smiley or smashing the music box or is it simply the natural path of progression and a new challenge that Fromland wants the townspeople to overcome? I think at this point it's very very obvious that From itself has something that it wants the people of the town to do because these people were definitely brought here to fulfill some sort of purpose and for now I'm assuming that this is the quest that Ethan has constantly been referring to ever since the very first season of the show. In season 2 the story was heavily leaning on this idea that the entire purpose they were brought here to fulfill was freeing the children at the lighthouse. While we never saw the children in the lighthouse, we did see them in some sort of flashback vision in the underground caves with Jade. Ethan also stated before that maybe they were brought here to save someone. And a quest of saving somebody who's been imprisoned is a classic, classic trope. In video games, Mario has survived like 50 years in a mainstream culture just with that simple premise of him saving the princess locked up in the castle by the villain of the story. The way the animals just spawn out of nowhere randomly in the forest as a way of giving the townspeople food is also definitely part of the video game playbook. It being a simulation also explains how exactly it is that the road in the town just infinitely loops the townspeople back into town because stuff like that happens a lot in video games. And who knows what's going on with the motel. We saw the sign in Victor's flashback but the motel has never been seen so far in the story. And if this is some sort of simulation then it could be as simple as the people making it ran out of resources or money or whatever before they could actually make 
the motel so all we have is the sign because they already got finished with the sign and they were like oh we'll just leave it up <laughs> nobody's gonna notice anyways the fact that victor has never seen the weather changing in the 40 years he's been trapped in the town is also another massive point for this theory if all of it really is fake and just a simulation what's the purpose of it is it for entertainment education or maybe a prison the monster's role in Fromland and the general hostility of the life they're living in definitely makes it seem more of a prison than something made for entertainment. The outright torture they experience when captured by the monsters is beyond inhumane and is absolutely vile in every way. It's possible that the name From itself could be an acronym for the simulation like maybe futuristic dash of medicine or something like that. The townsfolk being people who suffered some sort of trauma in their lives and that's why they were selected to be in Fromland has been a huge theory ever since we learned about the Matthews baby dying and Sarah seems like someone who'd easily be part of some homicidal cult who ended up killing a bunch of people under the guise of it's for the greater good. The boy in white being some sort of AI is something very interesting to consider but that would also mean that the jellyfish would be another AI, a seemingly much more hostile to humanity type of AI. That brings up an interesting idea that the reason Fromland hasn't been destroyed by anybody is because it's actually keeping that evil AI in check somehow rather than letting it loose into the world. Jade also said that he was some huge tech bro who sold his company right before entering Fromland. That is a crazy thing to say because Toby, who was Jade's friend, was killed immediately because the voices told Sarah that he was somehow dangerous. That could definitely be a huge piece of foreshadowing that Toby knew they were entering a simulation of Jade's design somehow, but Jade could not remember for whatever reason. And Jade did bang his head in the accident when they were coming into the town. Maybe that's why he lost his memory. Alternatively, they intentionally entered the simulation that was made by Jade because it's completely out of control and they had to go inside to fix it. All this being said, and despite the infinite number of things from the show that you could point to, I absolutely hate the idea of From being a simulation, but because nothing has been proven about the nature of From so far, I can't say with 100% certainty that it's not a simulation. And the truth is, none of us could possibly say for a fact that it isn't. The show, as of the ending of season 2, can go in an infinite number of ways, and that of course includes it possibly being a simulation, because everything from the entry, exit, and the location of Fromland itself is so vague, and we only have evidence circumstantial, From could literally be on some magical island in the ocean, an alternate version of Earth floating in space, or just some governmental simulation playing on a loop on some fat scientist's laptop and we'd be none the wiser. And the fact that people in Fromland come from all over the country, that in itself could actually be easily explained by it being some sort of simulation being broadcasted on the internet, I don't know. If the show was cancelled in season 2, nobody would have any answer as to what's actually going on, and that's just a fact. Think about where Lost was at the end of season 2 and compare what it was by the end of the show. It would have been literally impossible to predict the true nature of the island and the smoke monster being some sort of robot or AI made by the Dharma Initiative was a popular theory and they keep advertising from as being made by the same people who made Lost so it's perfectly valid to compare these two shows no matter what anybody says. I'm definitely hoping for a supernatural type of explanation to what's going on in From, but the truth is we probably won't know for a while. But that doesn't mean we can't theorize about it in the meantime. And one of the biggest mysteries right now is whose body is in the wheelbarrow from the season 3 trailer. So watch this video to see my thoughts on that because it's definitely going to be relevant.